How's it everybody? It's Puppy Sims and welcome back to the channel. Today we are hanging out with the Nightmare Legacy Challenge family, Eden, Orion, and Cosmo. Of course we can't forget Butters, but um, yeah, so we have Cosmo joining the family. He is our newest little baby. He's our infant. Uh, it is currently 2.49 a.m. and Eden woke up busting a pee. You may notice Eden's hair is a bit longer. Orion has a little bit of a different hairdo. I gave them little makeovers after they had the baby. I thought, you know, it could symbolize like a little bit of time passing as well because short lifespan man it goes by quick if you look at our calendar our baby is going to age up on thursday it's tuesday so he's going to be a toddler pretty soon um and i've barely even gotten to have him as a infant he aged up right before this video so it's a really big deal anyway um so it is bright and early and eden has to use the restroom so i'm gonna have her use the bathroom and take a little shower and i'm also gonna have her um kind of get ready for the day we'll have her brush her teeth it's bright and early it looks like the baby's still asleep and let's see what we need to do around here any chores no chores over here. Butters, I love ya. Oh. She's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Looks like Eden does need to eat too, so maybe she can wake up and start cooking. Oh, that's right. I'm out of power right now, so... Um, I'll just have to wait, wait to cook until I get a little bit extra. No problem at all. Um, gonna add these to her inventory too. She's taking forever. Come on. Put in inventory. I'm thinking I could probably recycle these old candles. Uh-oh, baby's crying. Quirk revealed he hates the wake-up time. Well, Cosmo, it's okay. It's okay. He's so cute. It says Cosmo rarely wakes up in a good mood. Infants with the hates wake-up time quirk are most likely to behave like grumpy bunnies when they wake up from a nap or sleep. So let's just take a minute here and check on Cosmo. It looks like uh, Orion is feeding him, so that's good. And then maybe let's see if Orion can do some tummy time with Cosmo after. So let's do uh, comfort. I don't want to give him his bath. I just want to do tummy time because I really don't know you know how much we're even going to be able to get done that's what concerns me you know before he ages up and i'm gonna have um eden she's gonna go take uh our doggy butters on a nice walk once she's done with her breakfast it's okay look at them I mean, they're practically twins. I don't think that this little one took after his mother very much. You have 24 hours to pay your bills before the water is shut off. Okay. Uh, what's our bill situation? 286. Feel the love and take the dog on a walk. Uh-oh, did the baby have a blowout? I think that's what that sound was. I definitely think that was a blowout. <laughs> well, let's give Cosmo his first bath. Oh my god. Let's give him a bubble bath. Yep, first blowout milestone unlock. Yuck, it was bound to happen. But Cosmo had his first ever blowout. 
Put down the baby. I have Orion taking care of it. Please take the dog for a walk. I need you to listen to what I'm asking of you right now is the thing. And you, you need to give the baby a bubble bath, please. And everybody doing their part will make a difference. Quirk revealed, loves being held. Cosmo seems to particularly like being held. I mean, I'm scared. What if we get like bad infant traits because we don't have enough time to like raise him properly? I'm just thinking. Look at the two of them. She's like, all right. She's looking good. This is a a tough situation. This this tub is not the best for raising children with, but we make the best with what we've got. Yibs. Yibs. All right. Cute. All right, so let's see what we got to do here. Uh, as part of our challenge, we have to make sure we're getting through these, um, you know, what do we call these? Aspirations? So it looks like I'm going to need to... Uh, let's see. I'm just making sure I don't need to join the career for this. No. Okay, great. I think that I will need to join the freelance crafter career so we might do that in a minute but we'll see spray for bugs weed water great and this should be auto lights all lights except for this one which i want on <laughs> just this little candle I know it's not realistic to have a candle just continuously going, but it is in this house. Look at this little baby chick coming in here. How long is this bath going to be, though? Alright, come on. Let's get the farm going, or the house going. Why is Butters tense? Oh, speaking of, guys, look! Our modern development went through. Look how beautiful the neighborhood looks. Now we gotta make our house look beautiful. Because right now it's still kind of dingy. Eventually. I was thinking it could be cool. We could have, like, a big pool or something. <laughs> but that seems kind of weird. Uh, first bath milestone. First bubble bath milestone. He got both. Great. All right, buddy. Can we put him on our back? Wait, let me cancel all my actions. And see if I can garden with him in my back carrier. Let's see. All right, guys. It took me a minute, but I've got little Mr. Cosmo in the back. <laughs> Look at these two. Um, let's see if you can actually do what I need to do with the baby in the back. Because that would be great. Spray. Of course, you probably shouldn't spray herbicide while you're with the baby. But chill out, little one. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh no, she's having period troubles. Um, let me solve her menstrual symptoms. Health, menstrual products, and then give her a, a shower. Look at these two adapting to the parenting life. Like, look at this little baby in his back carrier. He's whistling. And then there's Little Miss um, Butters just running around inside for some reason. Let's see how Edie is doing. Um, let's put this... Did we scavenge for parts from this? She's like, uh, I don't know. 
Also, I gave her this jacket and her makeover, and I just love it. Okay, what'd you find? Two common upgrade parts. That's pretty good. That's her cycle, the um, dipped candles, and the diaper trash, and the pet, mm, not the pet poop. I think that's all I can do, and then the pet poop has to be used for fertilization, so let me see if I can... Oh, it looks like I have to spray the bugs. Oh, he's working on it. Can I add... Fertilizer. Fertilize these mushrooms with the pet poop. Alright, so let's focus on our <laughs> our aspiration. We need to go to the fabrication <laughs> place. So we're going to leave our hubby and baby here and hope for the best. Hope that everyone behaves. Alright, so we are at the uh, maker space. Excuse the dog barking in the background, by the way. But we are at the makerspace, and our goal is to fabricate three items. I was thinking we could keep fabricating our eco upgrade parts. Since we do need lots of eco upgrade parts. What is this? Did someone just drop off like a... Wow, okay. All right, Miss Eden. I love her makeover. It's so cute. Um, I thought this braid just totally suits her. And it still looks like her, you know? She doesn't seem like she changed too much. But, you know, she's a mom now. And she's been a mom for probably, you know, a few months now. Of course, her hair wouldn't grow that fast in a few months. It's the Sims, okay? It's the Sims. Level 4 fabrication skill. Good job, Eden. Let's see if we can send our little baby to daycare and bring Orion here. Such a good parent. Cosmo has been sent to daycare. Okay, uh, Orion has to pee, apparently, so I'm going to have him go do that. Go and do that, bud. There we go. And let's see if he could maybe craft um, something else while we're here. Let's see. Juice fizzing, it doesn't look like. Everything's kind of occupied, so we'll see what he autonomously works on. We should be good. Alright, how's the eco upgrade part going? Fabricate. Eco upgrade part. You got this, Eden. We have one more to make. Plus any furniture that we might want to quick quick make while we're here. And I'm going to see if Orion can come and make a candle now. Oh, maybe he has to buy the ingredients. I thought you could purchase ingredients at the at the station. But I guess not. Maybe he could repair this to get up his skill. Hopefully he doesn't get electrocuted. I'm going to save. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. I'm a little nervous. Are you hungry? Yeah. What's going on with this, Orion? You fixing it? You're just kind of jamming a screwdriver inside. I hope it helps. <laughs> huh. He's like, I don't think this is working. Eden's starting to get a little stressed out. She's getting the mood lit Stranger Danger. It says loner sims can't stand to be around Stranger. Who knows what they might be up to. Alright, so these two are going to go home once they're done with their respective tasks. So it looks like Orion's getting a head start. He's like, oh, we got to pick up the kid from the sitter. Come on. We got to go grab Cosmo. She's like, oh, you're right. 
Let me just get one more eco upgrade part. I'm almost done. All right, let's go get him. The flower bunny called us. Dude, I had this weird dream where there was a monster thing in our neighborhood and we had to stay inside, but the monster wouldn't leave and we were all trapped in our homes for days, months, and years. It was a dream, okay? Then you went outside and the monster ate you. Why would you go outside when the monster was right there in front of your eyes, Orion? Um, I'm gonna be snarky. What? How rude. I'm going back to sleep. Do me a favor and don't show up in my dreams again. I won't. Listen, we met you once. And during that one time that we met you, you wanted to become best friends. And then right after that, you're telling us that you're dreaming about us? And then getting mad for us being weirded out? That's your problem. That's your problem, not ours. Play with Cosmo. Let's play together, buddy. What do you think? He's barely between these legs. Barely. Cool milestone unlocked. Oh, that's good. Activities, let's do some tummy time. Alright, bud. No, it's hard being young. So cute. What does it say? Lift head milestone unlocked. Oh, that's great. That is awesome. Actually, that's awesome. All right. Well, we are going to take care of little Mr. Cosmo real quick. Look at this little family. And Cosmo is pretty hungry right now. So she's probably going to feed him in a second. And this guy, I don't know what he's up to. Is he blushing? It says he's very inspired. You don't need to hold the infant. Please focus on your tasks. I can't believe that. It's so weird. Um, it says he needs to get some sleep, but I actually have other plans for these two. I'm going to decide that these two are going to have to stay up all night tonight. And um, they're going to see if someone else can look after Mr. Cosmo. So we'll find somebody to look after Cosmo while these two stay up. The idea is that these two really need to make some money. We only have six dollars. So they're going to do a bit of a dumpster diving run and see how much we can get from dumpster diving. Hopefully some good stuff. We usually have quite good luck with this sort of thing, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. Look at her eyeballs, though. There we go. <laughs> so cute. All right. So that is done. He's taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can send him off to daycare. Mm, does activity send to daycare? What's it? I wonder if it'll pull up my infant, too. Oh, nope. All right, well, we'll just have to go to a different neighborhood for our dumpster diving. That's totally fine. I'm going to feed the doggy. Put down the baby. What is this? <gasps> is she? What? Uh, <laughs> is she aging up? <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> Butters has aged up. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready for this. Butters has passed her peak and has become an elderly dog now. You may notice her sleeping more often, jumping onto things less, and more likely to get sick. But Butters still has some good days left, so spend them with her before it's time to say goodbye. Butters! 
Oh my god, I'm gonna go give her a hug and pet her and give her special oh smooches. Congrats, Butters, you old lady, you. Oh, you've been a good doggy. Yeah, you enjoy the retirement days. We just made it to the next neighborhood over in Conifer Station, and we are gonna go and dig in some dumpsters, baby! So, um, I think there's just one around here, so we'll just have to repeatedly go to that one and see how that goes. And I was thinking in the meantime we could also fish. Oh, look, see, there's one here. I'm just gonna lay the land. No! Okay, get over here right now. And you... You need to go to the other one. Alright. Hopefully we can kick this lady out. Oh my god! Okay, it looks like I'm cold. And a little stinky. So let me quick go into the bathroom. And then I'm going to change to outfits, change outfit to cold weather. I don't care which one. Someone's recycling. All right. What? Why can't I go in there? What? Is it gendered? Oh, it is. Goodness. So this one is the all-gender restroom, apparently. <gasps> Another person! Oh my god. Everybody stop diving in this dumpster. It's mine. Die for deals. Die for deals. Die for deals. Okay, she's gonna die for deals three times. And he's currently working on my go here. Hurry up. She found a streamer computer. That's good. Die for deals, die for deals, die for deals. And maybe one extra, just in case. Oh my god, get out of my space, Milo! He's like, huh, interesting. Looking at my butt. Like, excuse you! Oh gosh, our baby's birthday is tomorrow. I can't even believe that. Can I keep looking inside this dumpster? No. But maybe we could swap. Because we should be able to keep mining these. So. There is that. There is that. No beam. Shorg. Oh. Um, no Alright. Maybe we could come over here and dive for thrills. <laughs> Great way to finish off the dumpster diving <laughs> the dog's asleep sounds like someone's using the recycling machine over there but they won't notice surely if we get a little frisky in the dumpster okay we gotta get a little frisky we gotta get a little frisky <gasps> yes all right guys have fun. And then after this, let's go home and look at our winnings. Woo! Oh! He's a little... Oh! he. I was gonna say he's a little too tall. So awkward. <laughs> so awkward. Oh, butters! She's like, ugh. Who's making this racket? Oh my god, get me out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's like, just a couple more. I'm just hoping we can find something for Cosmo. An eco upgrade part, that's great. Well, good job, Eden. You did it, you did it. So let's go home and take good care of our bebe. And see how much money we are tallying at the end of this episode. And in the next part, we're going to be able to see Mr. Cosmo becoming a toddler. Maybe we could throw a little party for him or something. I think that could be fun. Um, so let's go see how much money we've got.
Cosmo is back from daycare. These two are going to take a shower before they deal with the baby, you know? Um, and I think they deserve a good night's rest, too. Um, but she's just going to go use the restroom real quick. Oh, they shut off the water to our house. Okay, that's all right. Okay, now while they are showering and everything, let's see what our final tally is before we finish out the episode. I'm going to sell everything direct except for the dirty double. So we've got 320, 190, 235, 1500, which has us at a total of 2,262. So wow, wow, wow. Look at us. I'd like to get a mini goat as well, and I should be getting the ranch pack pretty soon. So I'm excited to have that and add that dynamic to the Let's Play. But so far, I'm really enjoying this uh, Let's Play and playing with these characters. I just wish I could do it more for you guys. Um, it takes a lot of time to edit these episodes, unfortunately. So sorry that they're a little bit few and far between. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one where Cosmo is going to be going from infant to toddler. And who knows? I wonder if our doggy is going to cross the rainbow bridge. I hope not. So, thanks for watching. And without further ado, let's get on to the puppy dog of the day. Bye, guys. <laughs>